In this video, we will go over a circuit analysis example uh, in which we will explore uh, some series and parallel resistor combinations and you will also see how we can use the voltage divider to analyze this circuit. The circuit that we are going to use for this example has a voltage source, an independent voltage source of voltage V in. We are using resistor R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 in this circuit with values that are provided 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm and so on. We also have five nodes in this example and I've already highlighted those nodes and I have labeled them with their node voltages uh, as VA, VB, VC, VD and of course we have our reference node E as our ground uh, node with zero volts. So my goal in this uh, video is to be able to express voltages at nodes A, B, C and D in terms of my input voltage V in. So to start this example, I will start very simple uh, and I will focus on this part of the circuit, the very end. So I see that this particular node C has a voltage of uh, VC, which is essentially divided between resistors R4 and R5. So VC is the voltage across R3 and it is also the voltage across R4 and R5 combined. So if I look at this particular part of the circuit, I notice that VC is essentially being divided between R4 and R5. So I can use my voltage division rule here to express VD in terms of VC. So let's do that first. VD. is going to equal VC multiplied by R5 divided by R4 plus R5. Simple voltage divider. Uh, in this example, we are given both these resistors R4 and R5 as 2 kilo ohm. So this should work out to be VC divided by 2. So that's our first uh, result. Next, we are going to focus on VA. VA is probably the simplest thing to express in terms of V in for this example because they are both essentially equal. The voltage at this node A is with respect to ground V in. So VA should be equal to V in. So that becomes one result that I am interested in. Uh, next, I am going to focus on combining R4 and R5 because these two are in series. And I'm also going to combine R3 with that series combination. So R4 and R5, they are in series, and that particular series combination is in parallel with R3. So R4, 2K, R5, 2K. When I add those up, I get 4K, which is going to be in parallel with another 4 kilo ohm resistor. So the equivalent resistance between node C and ground is going to be 4 kilo ohms in parallel with 4 kilo ohms which should just simplify to a 2 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to draw that circuit as well. I've got V in over here. I've got R1, I've got R2, node C labeled as VC and another resistor which in this case I'll call this R equivalent which is going to be R4 in series with R5 and these resistors are in parallel with R3. So that is going to simplify to 4 kilo ohms in parallel with 4 kilo ohms which is going to be 2 kilo ohms. Okay. R1, R2, 1 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm remains as is from the previous circuit. I'm also going to redraw my nodes here, VB and VA. And of course I have the ground over here. Now, if I consider this uh, simpler circuit, resistors R1, R2 and R equivalent, they're all in series. VC is going to be the voltage across R equivalent. VB is going to be the voltage across R2 
plus VC and VA we have already found that to be VN so my next step is going to be to write an equation for VC in terms of VN using a voltage divider so VC is VN which is across R equivalent divided by R1 plus R2 plus R equivalent now because I know all these resistors R equivalent is 2 kilo ohms and I have 1 plus 2 plus 2 5 kilo ohms as the total of the remaining uh, of the three resistors so this simplifies to 2 V in divided by 5 which is for VC and that's another result that I was interested in finding I've got VA I've got VC VB VB is going to be voltage at this node which is essentially either I can go to ground from that path or that path so VB should either be V in minus voltage across R1 or in this case it's easier for me to just add up VC to the voltage across R2 to find VB so VB is going to be voltage across R2 which is V in multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R equivalent which essentially simplifies to uh, 2 V in divided by 5 I also need to add VC to this so I add VC to this which is also 2 V in divided by 5 so that simplifies to 4 V in divided by 5 for VB all right uh, the the only thing that is remaining is for me to write VD in terms of V in I've already found VD relationship with VC which is VC divided by 2 I know VC is 2 V in divided by 5 so if I use that over here I just get V in divided by 5 for VD so those are my four node voltages in terms of the input VN all right I hope this uh, helps you in applying the voltage divider to analyze a circuit like this